Can I file the I-140 and I-485 applications together? This is a very common question among green card applicants. Many people wonder if they'll receive an employment authorization document or an EAD after the I-140 is really approved. Well, you're not alone. I had similar doubts as well when I started my own green card process and the US immigration can be complex and it's normal to have questions. So I am here to clarify based on my own experience navigating the entire EB-1A green card process and helping over 70 professionals achieve their EB-1A approval so far. Let's dive in straight and let me clarify what the I-140 and 485 applications are really for. Well, the I-140 application or the immigrant petition for alien workers is usually filed by an employer when pursuing the EB-2 or EB-3 green card categories and after the perm process is when it gets filed. So, however, for the EB-1A green card, you can submit your I-140 application directly to USCIS and you don't need to submit any perm because EB-1A has no perm. And that's like a ton of months saved for you right off the bat. So why do you really need to file the I-140 application, you may ask. The I-140 application determines your eligibility for the green card category. And once that is approved, it grants you a priority date and places you in a line for a migrant visa or an immigrant visa, which is also called as a green card. So it also allows you to extend your H-1B status for about three years and keep renewing it. After your I-140 is approved and your priority date is current in the visa bulletin, that's when you can file your 485 application if you are pursuing a green card within the US. This application then lets you adjust your status from a temporary visa holder like an F-1 or an H-1B to a permanent resident without really leaving the country, assuming you meet all other green card requirements. Now let's address the elephant in the room. Can you file the I-140 and the 485 applications concurrently? Well, in most employment-based green card categories, you file the I-140 and the 485 applications at the same time, but only when your priority date is current in the visa bulletin. For example, if your priority date is current in the September 2024 visa bulletin, you can file both the I-140 and the 485 together. No problem. A common misconception is that you can receive an EAD after the I-140 is approved. In reality, if your priority date is current and if you are filing the I-140 and the 485 together, then you can apply for an EAD and an advance parole with the I-485 application. So in such a scenario, you can receive the EAD and advance parole approval even if your I-140 is pending. Still, to sum it up, you can file for an EAD and advance parole either with your 485 application or after filing your 485 application. I hope this clears up your doubts. But before we wrap this up, here's a quick note. As of the September 2024 visa bulletin, the wait time for EB-1A green card category is on paper only two years and in reality probably much quicker from my experience. So why do you want to wait for those decades on that EB-2 or EB-3 green card category? You should start building your EB-1A profile now to get your green card faster. You can even reuse your EB-2 or EB-3 priority date for EB-1A petition as well. So if you need personalized help to build a compelling EB-1A profile and navigate the criteria, you should definitely explore the VIP plan of the Smart Green Card program. Well, if you want free information like this delivered to you every single day, do subscribe to our channel. Do hit that notification bell icon so that you can be notified and you can sip amazing EB1A content, actionable ones, with your morning coffee every single day. This is Simon Shetty from the Smart Green Card program signing off. Until the next video. Peace.